Hi YouTube, Alan here. Today I'll be talking about the tools I use with my 3D printer. Some of these tools you're already going to have, and others are necessities if you're going to get into the 3D printing world. Others I just highly recommend, I found they're very useful. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is assorted screwdrivers. Now I'm sure you already have these, if you're into the 3D printing, you're probably already pretty handy. So you're going to have screwdrivers, and you're probably going to also have the next thing, Allen keys. I don't know if you can see them, but assorted size Allen keys. Now my printer already came with a full set of Allen keys and I was going to need to assemble them, but they weren't very good. And so by the end of it, they were kind of all worn. But luckily I had another set of Allen keys. Next thing, I'm sure you also already have, needle nose pliers. Very useful for uh, grabbing pieces, holding nuts, that sort of thing. Already in your toolbox, I'm assuming, so I'm just going to move on. The next thing that I found very, very useful uh, were these pair of tweezers that were provided in my 3D printing kit. Now these are great for grabbing the, uh, the plastic at the end of the hot end or adjusting something on the fly. Um, if these ever get lost, I'm definitely buying another pair. So I highly recommend them if they don't come with your printer kit to go and find yourself a nice pair. Of the next thing that you will need uh, while 3D printing is a pair of calipers. Now I got these from, I think it was Canadian Tire for 30 bucks. Uh, you can get them from Home Depot or other hardware stores. Now these are the electronic ones. Uh, with the little gauge. Um, I like those just because they're easier to read. So you'll need them for tuning your printer, uh, making sure that you have the right steps per millimeter, measuring parts when they come out at the end, uh, to make sure everything works correctly. Need these. These are, I mean, if you're into this sort of stuff, you probably already have a set of these, but if you don't, get one. Uh, the next thing, uh, shop knife. They're great to clean off your 3D printing kit, uh, 3D printing parts with as well as to trim tubes or trim the end of, uh, of your filament, anything like that. Simple, probably have one of these as well. Make sure you have one if you don't. Next, a file. I use this all the time to clean up my 3D printed parts. Sometimes there's little extra blobs. Sandpaper would work as well. Just something to clean up the edges of your model when you're all done. So that concludes the things you really, really need. Next is a couple of tools that I found uh, and I picked up that I found were quite useful. The first of these is a feeler gauge. Now this is a very nice feeler gauge. Uh, I got this I think also from Canadian Tire. Uh, it was on sale for $10, I think it was regular $15. Um, and this is, I use this to accurately get the bed level. I wasn't using a piece of paper before, but I found that was a bit, um, well I mean the paper squished or it got plastic on it and it wasn't very consistent. Whereas now I can use something that I know is uh, 0.05 millimeters right here so that, that way I know that all all the corners are 0.05 away from the heat hot end uh, so it's just a lot more consistent and easier to use and so you just push it under and when it starts to bend you've you know reached that thickness highly recommend you should get one yeah and lastly something that I kind of got a little bit more for fun than for 3d printing an infrared thermometer. I always like to know how much like things are, like how uh, how hot the windows are in my house to find out how much, how much heat I'm losing in the winter time. Now I can do this. I got it also to see you know how hot the hot end is and how hot the uh, heat heat bed is um, without using the software to make sure that what I'm seeing is matching with what the software is seeing. Uh, this I think was also on sale for ten dollars. Also a Canadian Tire. So yeah, this is pretty good. It's got um, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, 0.1 degree Celsius accuracy on this. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Ten dollars, great purchase. I use it for various other things. Uh, it, it's fun. It's I use it a little bit for my 3D printing, but mostly kind of for fun. So those are really the tools I recommend. Uh, it's been a pretty short video, um, but I do have some other ones coming out in the future, real soon. I uh, printed off a. a new uh, little model boat and I'm going to see if I can smooth it with acetone. So look forward to that video coming out in the next couple of days hopefully. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.